I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live, here with filmmaker David Zucker, known for many films including the Naked Gun series and Airplane. David, can you tell me a little bit about what you think is funny and the current state of comedy? Mo most of what we've done is uh, you know, setting up familiar situations like we did in Airplane, uh, uh, like an Airplane disaster movie, and then we put in the jokes. We started out with a with a serious scene and then we kind of reverse the audience's expectations and that has you know proved to be funny in most cases or in in the naked gun Leslie Nielsen was a, a serious police captain and <coughs> he would say the most serious things and then but we would just reverse the audience's expectations and put the surprise in there um, now oftentimes in your films you have really dramatic music in simple situations. Do you have that kind of soundtrack in your everyday life? Do you like make things funny and over dramatize them? Well, I, I don't really over dramatize them, but you know, it just I I do you know, often I just think of funny things. Mostly nowadays it just annoys people. But <coughs> you know, we uh, my wife and I <laughs> yesterday we were we were looking for middle schools for our son. And so the, the, uh, there was an eighth grader who was taking us on the tour and a very nice young man and uh, you know he, he, he took us and we, he showed us the, the gym, they had a big gym and we looked in the door and I, sa I said what a, great, what a great facility you have there and he said you know great thanks and so we moved on down the hallway and then there was another, there was another door the, the door at the south end of the gym that looked in obviously and so what I said, oh, you have two gyms. And so, and he turned, but you know, the, the, best, the best jokes I find don't get a laugh. People, he, he just turns and says, no, no, it's the same gym. But, and then the, the big laugh for me was my wife, who knows me, going, uh, just, just, yeah, she just does the eye roll. So I get a laugh out of it, you know. And so, and so I have this competition with my, with my friend Lewis in New York. And, you know who can who can get the biggest I mean non laugh really, of, <laughs> so yeah, so that's kind of what makes me laugh now. Okay. Yeah. Um, Currently, remakes in Hollywood are very, very common. What do you think about having a remake done of one of your films, or maybe doing one yourself? Well, there, you know remakes are, you know, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, you have the, ev you know, Hollywood has become an industry now of, you know, remakes, sequels, tent poles, uh, big time animation, uh, books, big stars, anything to, to grab onto some place to, so they can open a movie. Um, I, ha I, I don't think they're going to be a <coughs> remake of Airplane. We didn't want to do Airplane 2 and the studio at the time wanted to do it and so they went ahead and did Airplane 2. We didn't think of it was a good idea but and it, it turned out it wasn't a good idea but I think there could be a remake of uh, Naked Gun and so I think that's that's completely possible. There's any amount of detective stories but the the other side of that equation is that you know, people have certain expectations, and if you do a Naked Gun that doesn't have Leslie Nielsen in it, people might, you know, say, <coughs> "Well, this this isn't as good because even it, if it would be as good with a new character, a younger character, because basically that that franchise was about a bumbling, clueless character, and that that character can still exist." Speaking of Leslie Nielsen, a very dear friend of yours and someone who you worked with a lot. Um, he recently passed away. That must be very difficult for you. Well, actually, I was feeling pretty great for this interview until you mentioned that, and that, that kind of ends it for me now. I'm, I'm very sorry about that. No. Uh, it's... <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I do. See, this is a, you're laugh. That's nice that you're laughing, but my wife would just he she would just be annoyed. Anyways, so now you're learning a lot about my marriage. Now. Uh, uh, but no, Leslie was, you know, uh, uh, people live into their 80s, and 
you know, it's not a tragedy. If, if you run over or drop dead of a heart attack at 40, you know, that's a real tragedy. Um, you know, it was very sad when Leslie passed away. You know, I thought maybe he'd live another 10 years, and I had, I have another movie that, that, w that I had a part for him. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, li that's, that's life. And, uh, you know, it was very sad when it happened, and I, and I wrote a, a tribute to him that, that appeared in, in some of the trade magazines here, and uh, it was on TMZ, and, and it just, it was, it was uh, got, got a lot of play on the, on the web, and I was glad that I was able to say these feelings that I had, because I had, I, I did a lot of movies with Leslie, and more, so, and I loved Robert Stack, and Peter Graves was also a friend, and Jim Abrams, my partner, did movies with uh, Lloyd, uh, Lloyd Bridges, and but Leslie was was special because I had I had done so many movies with him. So uh, I'll miss him, but uh, I just I look back and and mainly I have gratitude for having known him. And what would be your current aspirations for the future? Well. Um, Professionally, it's you know I want to still do what I what I've done, but that doesn't necessarily mean doing the same movies that I've done or sequels, uh, either to do a Scary Movie Five or another Naked Gun, especially. But I do want to do you know visual comedies, um, and the kind of comedies that I've done have traveled not only domestically but internationally because you know people. People will all laugh at somebody slipping on a banana peel. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I want to. I want to do a movie that's PG rather than PG-13 because now that I have kids and we're going to PG movies, I see that there there's nobody doing, you know, that kind of Laurel and Hardy, uh, Abbott and Costello, Three Stooges kind of movie that that I loved when I was growing up. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay, great. Okay, great. Thank you so much, David. My pleasure. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live.